If I had told you eight years ago that America would reverse the Great Recession, reboot our auto industry, and unleash the longest stretch of job creation in our history, if I had told you that we would open up a new chapter with the Cuban people, shut down Iran's nuclear weapons program without firing a shot, take out the mastermind of 9-11, If I had told you that we would win marriage equality and secure a right to health insurance for another 20 million of our fellow citizens, said our sights were set a little too high. But that's what we did. And such a vision was never realistic. Race remains a potent and often divisive force in our society. If you're tired of arguing with strangers on the internet, try talking with one of them in real life. If you're disappointed by your elected officials, grab a clipboard, get some signatures, and run for office yourself. For too many of us, it's become safer to retreat into our own bubbles, whether in our neighborhoods or on college campuses or places of worship or especially our social media feeds. Surrounded by people who look like us and share the same political outlook and never challenge our assumptions. And increasingly, we become so secure in our bubbles that we start accepting only information, whether it's true or not, that fits our opinions, instead of basing our opinions on the evidence that is out there. I'm asking you to hold fast to that faith written into our founding documents, that idea whispered by slaves and abolitionists, that spirit sung by immigrants and homesteaders and those who march for justice. That creed reaffirmed by those who planted flags from foreign battlefields to the surface of the moon. A creed at the core of every American whose story is not yet written. Yes, we can. <laughs>